we're headed for a beautiful day. On the telephone right now, please welcome uh, Ken Jenkins. He is the chairman of the County Board of Legislators here in Westchester. Good morning, Mr. Jenkins. Good morning, Bob, and good morning, Westchester. Nice to have you with me. Wanna, I want to, you know, again, this is me in my role as uh, the Don King of politics locally. <laughs> And uh, and for those of you, like I have a couple of young kids in the studio, he is one of the great boxing promoters, uh, just like a real <laughs> Ruben, just not Ruben is not the right word, like a Barnum and Bailey type character. Anyway, um, the two Republicans are throwing mud, furniture, farm animals at each other and really going at it. Bob Cohen already has a commercial. Uh, Donato Roth already has a bus with her name on it. And 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 your candidate, because I know you're one of the, you're the leading Democrat in the county, uh, is 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 out there working hard, but still sort of on his own. Where's the party, and how how does this work? When will the Democrats come out for for your guy? The way the Republicans are coming out for uh, Bob Cohen. Well, you know something, we have a, re- a really distinct advantage because uh, George Latimer could take his case to the voters and keep talking to all the voters of the district, specifically the Democrats at this point in time, but. He's continuing to have his town hall meetings and doing the great work that George Latimer has done. We don't have to, to go in because we're not having an internal squabble like the Republicans have. And as you pointed out clearly, that there is a, a, a dining group that's going on over there. And, and, you know, quite frankly, I'm not sure if Bob Cohen's going to get through that. Um, the, the particular candidates are going out there and, you know, taking their message to Republican voters for a primary um, that they have to have. But George Latimer is, is focused. He's talking to the voters of the people of, of the district, um, making sure that in the new portions of the district, those people get to know them. That includes portions of Yonkers. Um, you know, we're, we're supporting George Latimer 110%, and by talking to people, not talking at people through commercials and, and you know, uh, some falsehoods uh, or, uh, it, you know, I guess, the best thing to do is campaigning, um, which is a polite way of saying stressing the truth in the political advertisements that are going on. I see. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure I keep everybody on their toes. I want a good, fair fight, no low blows. Well, anyway. Well, I guess somebody would say, Bob, the only fair fights are the ones that you win. Oh. Um, but I think that <laughs> in our current environment, um, that the people really are, are tired of the, the kind of stretching that happens in campaigns and trying to sort through the truth. And whether it's a bunch of money that's thrown at it with campaign advertisements or with um, flyers, etc., people understand um, that at the end that there's a person that's representing their needs, and we know George Latimer is that best person to do that. Okay, 743, what's going on in the legislature that you're concerned about these days? You know, something we, we, we continue to, to, to find ways of, of investing in various projects. Uh, we, you know, we opened up one yesterday up in, uh, um, up in T-Town Reservation with a public-private partnership, trying to again show that the county has to invest and continue to invest in these particular um, things for open space, for projects, for jobs, and to do that, and we're going to continue doing that great work. You know, we have um, Captain Borgia, uh, the chair of our government operations committee, that's digging down into the request that has been made by the administration to find real jobs, not fake press release things that suggest that there's money being sat on. But, you know, we just got to find places where there are real jobs that are protecting the people, the health and safety of Westchester County, and infrastructure jobs, and bridges, and road repair, and things that make Westchester the great place that it continues to be. 744, we're talking with Ken Jenkins. He's the county legislator chair here in Westchester County. Now, I, I got to ask you a question since I am the Don King here, and maybe it's very, very early uh, to ask it, but do you have any interest in being the, uh, the uh, county executive one day? Well, one day we'll, you know, we'll have uh, an opportunity to talk to people and determine whether or not that's going to be the, the choice and pattern or path that I decide to take. But, you know, where we are right now is about governing. We're about trying to make sure that we're taking care of of things we're doing and being the very best chairman of the Board of Legislators that I can be. And, you know, we'll see what happens as we move down the road. Okay, I, I well, well you didn't say no, and that's good, because every time I ask fellow pundits, they look at me like I have eight heads. Of course he wants to be county executive. What's wrong with you? <laughs> well, you know something? I, I, again, the thing is that you should do the best job possible. I know that we have two different philosophical views from a Democratic and a Republican yes, perspective. Do. And, and I think that, you know, the people are going to have a choice to make at that time. But okay. that time's not now. Thank you very much, Ken Jenkins. We'll talk to you in a few days. All right. Ken Jenkins, everybody, the county board uh, chair 